is going on everybody welcome to a new video banger whatever you want to call it and in this video i'll be at a place called martha falls and i'm jumping off rocks and going to underwater falls and stuff it's just really cool let's just go ahead and get into it so after you jump off the big rock you see this waterfall you have to cross to get back and it was very 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 sketchy just watch i think i fell like twice yeah just watch oh no Y'all really are doing that. Is it hard? I'm guessing not. Golly. No, 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 no. Oh, this gets a current. Right here, I was so scared. I was like in my mind, get up, get up, get up, because I thought I was it was gonna take me down, but it never did. Sure, I can see. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I made it across. All right, if I don't die, you gotta like it. This guy right here was telling us what had happened here in the past year and he had told us that 
some guy jumped off where e where we jump off like uh, on the high rock there's a smaller one and a guy jumped off of, off of it and lost all of his air and then drowned and then how people were riding kayaks and went down the waterfall and landed on his head and flipped over and drowned there was like five people who died this year at this place so it was pretty bad it was like the worst ever and yeah it was pretty scary and bad and before before y'all say it's fake or anything, I know it's true because on the news before it came here about two weeks ago, uh, a guy actually did drown here off jumping off that small rock. They just never described it, but there was a death. And this guy, like, lives right down the street from this place, so he's, like, here every day. Uh, that's how he knows that. That's what he told us. And I really can't play what he's saying because the waterfall is super loud, and you really can't hear what he's saying. somebody's died in these waters five times just this year and it's not even close to the end of the year it's just summer like wow all right y'all listen here before the video ends there's people right in front of us and uh they were fighting just listen uh, somebody's gonna do a fight stop recording for now and i'm guessing i'll be back soon all right so um, I'm totally not making my videos it's two minutes long on purpose because I need the ads so I can get money. But, uh, yeah, let's do a story time. Um, uh, if you want a part two of this video, I probably only go there once a year, so that's not going to be good. But there is going to be more lake videos coming out very soon because got my camera, got my computer. It's time for editing. And, uh, yeah, story time. Um, freak. Okay. So, there was a sandwich, and, um, uh, he needed cheese. So, he jumped on the counter, and he got cheese. And, uh, the cheese didn't want to be on the sandwich, but, uh, he wanted to be on the cheese. So, the cheese got up and pushed the sandwich away. So then, the cheese got mad at the sandwich because, I mean, the sandwich got mad at the cheese because the cheese pushed him off the table. And then, um, um, the, uh, the, the, the sandwich climbed back up and then I had a fight with the cheese. It was a two and one because sandwich had two, it has two buns and there's only one cheese. And then they started fighting and then the cheese, it made, it made the cheese turn into Swiss cheese because it made it have a hole in it. So like, kind of look like SpongeBob but flat. And then, uh, oh wait, no homo. Um, and then, um, it's, they kept on fighting and then the, uh, sandwich said cheese you finna die then the cheese grabbed a little knife and started stabbing him and then he the sandwich screamed and then and then he screamed and then ham and bologna came up on there and then it was them versus the cheese and then uh the cheese grabbed uh a, the annoying orange placed it in front of them and he would not stop talking they got annoyed and then uh yeah so the cheese was by himself and then the mighty pickle came out of nowhere and then grabbed the cheese started slinging him around and the cheese grabbed his butter knife and tried to cut the pickle but it didn't do anything so then he grabbed a steak knife and stabbed it right in a pickle heart and then the pickle's grandfather the cucumber came up there grabbed the cheese the cheese was on top of him 
and he starts slinging the cheese around, and then like for part two, it'll be amazing.